Welcome to another Roblox Studio Basics video, and today we will be looking into basic scripting. So I'm just going to make a script here. I can close out of these other scripts. So basically, the default text for a script is print hello world. If you see, if I click run, it will print hello world in the output. So whenever you click run or play or anything like that, it will run the code immediately once the server is done. It's one of the first things that the server does. So whenever a server starts loading, the server scripts load pretty much first as well as a lot of other server things. And then the client connects and then things get replicated, but we'll get to that later. So basically with this print function, you can print some text over here. So let's say I wanted to change this to print this will print and then i run it and as you can see it prints right here exactly how it was said in the script so you might be thinking what happens if you want to combine two strings two messages together so let's just say you define a variable called message one equals print this and then message two as hi. In order to make that print, we will do something called concatenation. It's basically combining two strings together. So we'll do print messages one, message one, dot dot, message two. And whenever we run that, it would say print this hi, exactly how we wanted it to. So basically, that's the print function. There's a lot of other functions that you can see, as you can see, so like I type in A and you can see all of these default things that there are, and like and or, those are just some operators. And then warn is kind of like print, but slightly different. You can play around with this. You can also do some math inside of printing. So let's just say, do some math. And then concatenate. And we might need to use two number here. It's another function, but I don't think so. We'll just put it in parentheses, do the math, 5 plus 5, and then run it. As you can see, do some math, 10. Basically, you can also try doing something. So let's just create a function called it add, take in the two parameters of A and B, and we'll just print A and B, A plus B. And let's just say add 2 and 3. Now this should print 5 right here. And anyways, what happens if you don't want to just make it print? What happens if you want to make it do some actual work? So what if we add return A plus B? Now we say print add 2 and 3. This will do the same thing as last time, except this time, 2 and 3 will go inside of these variables. So A will equal 2, B will equal 3, and it will return 2 plus 3 to whatever here. So basically, it will just replace add 2, 3 with A plus B, so 2 plus 3, and that will print 5 like it did. So this can actually be useful sometimes. What if we added another function called subtract and we want to subtract, let's just say, let's take an A and B again. Now these A and B's are separate from these. So that's something about functions. They're called, these variables are called local variables. We'll get into that in the next video in this series. But for now, we'll just do something. So return A minus B, that will just subtract. Then let's just say we do add 9 and 6, and then we'll print this actually. So let's do print add 9, 6. But here we'll, ask, we'll also subtract from the sum of that. So this will equal 15. And then from here, we want, let's just say, 5. I'm just going to make a comment here. Comment is just two dashes. So add two and six, 96. That will just return 15. So it's going to look like this. 
So subtract 15 comma 5 from there and then once the subtract function is run it will return 15 minus 5 so it will basically end up going through this process and going through every function in here so that will just print 10. so anyways that's the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it or learned something from it be sure to join the roblox group and discord server i'll leave those in the description also check out cave mining a game that we made we aren't really updating it if you want to see new features comment down below and you might see them added into the game in the future but anyways that's the end of this video please stay tuned for more